The Haida people from this plague comes were a First Nation tribe local to the northwest region of what today is British Columbia. This plague was once a part of headdress that was decorated with flicker feathers, sea lion whiskers, and a train of almond skins. The figure on the plague that is wearing a dance apron and a crown is believed to represent a shaman. A shaman is a person regarded as having access to the world of good and evil spirits, a healer. Headdress were a essential part of shaman's special kit to cure victims around the village. The headdresses were worn by high-ranking members of the host clan. They were worn during ceremonies and dances to welcome guests and promote an atmosphere of peace and friendship. They were also used during performances involving supernatural spirits and sometimes to summon help for curing illnesses. Despite the fact that Belakula was carved on the back of the frontlet, the, the distinctive carving side indicates that the artist was Simeon Stihil who was believed to be from the village of Old Masset, British Columbia. He was born in 1799 and died in 1889. The plaque is currently displayed in the Royal BC Museum. When it was first donated to the museum in 1990, the plaque was split in half and missing some abalone plaques. Experts repaired the split, however, the cracks remain visible. Tradition of First Nations arts can vary widely and are based on different histories and beliefs of individual tribes. Their region tends to focus around nature, the landscape, animals, plants and other environmental elements play a major role in the religion of First Nations. Figures from natives are found in fine carvings in stone, metal, wood and sculpture.